guys! Welcome to my channel. My name is Jai and this is my She Feathers Journal. Few days ago, I posted my signing off vlog. So, nandito na ako ngayon sa Pilipinas, na ako. I'm in the comfort of my home. But that video was actually taken January 12 pa. So, nito na lang ako nagkaroon ng time para ma-edit siya. Siguro iniisip niyo ka uwi ko lang. But I've been here roughly for three months na din. So, ayun nga, we are all affected by this pandemic. Now, we are all forced to stay at home for the enhanced community quarantine. Some of the seafarers that I know, like some of my friends na napilitan silang magstay sa mga boarding house nila kasi they were not able to go home, hindi na sila nakabalik sa kanikanilang probinsya nila. Today is April 16, uh, Thursday. This is the time that I'm filming this and hopefully I'll be able to finish to edit this and upload it later tonight. Last April 8, website ng Dole, dole.gov.ph. They released this, uh, I'm gonna put it here, OFWs displaced by COVID-19 to get 10,000. Actually, Onin TV already uploaded this kind of tutorial kung paano tayo makakapag-file ng application to get the 10,000 for the displaced OFW na apektado ng pandemic COVID-19. So, yan. A one-time financial assistance of 10,000 pesos will be given to land-based and sea-based overseas Filipino workers whose employments were affected by the COVID-19 global pandemic. So, nakalagay dito, I'm gonna link it down then, yung buong article, kung sino-sino yung mga entitled for the financial assistance by Dole. So, dun sa discuss ni Sir Onin, Onin TV, kasi sila, napauwi sila. So, they're also affected by the COVID-19. And for my situation naman, is different, pasampa. Which is, I am also affected by the COVID-19. So, bale, lumipat na ako ng company, which I will not disclose yet. But, uh, to give you a hint, I was supposed to join third week of April kung walang COVID-19. Dapat sana, pasampa na ako next week. Actually, next week na yun sana. Kaya lang, since my COVID so affected. I've actually filed na for this thing. Uh, nakapag-file na ako nito. So, ngayon, ipapakita ko lang sa inyo kung paano ko ginawa. Bali, hinintay ko lang yung reply, yung email sa akin. If my application will be reviewed, something like that, bago ko to gawin. Kasi, merong isang part doon na hindi ko sure kung tama yung ginawa ko. But, eventually, siguro okay naman yun. Kasi, for review na yung application ko. So, without so much kula, let's start. First thing, you have to go to your browser. And then, go to dole-acap .owa.gov.ph then go. So, pagpasok nyo doon, itong page na ito yung makikita nyo. Department of Labor and Employment Overseas Workers Welfare Administration. Financial Assistance for Displaced, Land-Based, and Sea-Based Filipino Workers Affected by Coronavirus Disease COVID-2019. Dole ACAP for OFWs. So, bale, this is not only applicable for seafarers lang. Pwede din to sa ibang OFW na naging apektado ng COVID-19. We need to supply all required information. So, madali lang siyang fill upan as in very basic lang. So, kailangan yung mga may asterisk na red, kailangan mo siyang fill upan kasi hindi ka makakaproceed sa next page kung hindi mo yun fill upan. Bali, two parts lang ito. So, first page is yung mga required details mo, mga information mo. And then, sa second page, we will have to upload our documents, parang mga proof. First name, Jayan. So, okay, after ng birthday, uh, gender, female, huh, of course. After ng gender, ilalagay mo yung passport number mo. Tapos, contact number. So, you'll have to fill in your contact details. Yung importante yung number mo talaga. They might contact you on that number to verify things. So, email. So, syempre, yung active email mo din. And then, Facebook account. Kailangan mo din i-link yung Facebook account mo. Tapos, address. Actually, optional yung Facebook account kasi wala siyang, hindi siya mandatory field na may asterisk na rin. So, then we will proceed with the address. Okay, so after mo ma-fill out yung pangalan mo, last name, first name, middle name, birth date, gender, passport number, contact details, email, Facebook account, ang last is yung uh, address or region, and then province, municipality, barangay, street, country of deployment, which is worldwide. OFW category, which is sea-based, of 
course. Tapos meron din ditong option na if ever ang claimant mo ay representative mo at hindi ikaw. Dun sa medyo end part, nandito na yung bank details name at saka account name ng bank. So you need to put your account number. There's a note saying na kailangan peso savings account lang, bawal lang dollar account. Okay, we will proceed with the second page or the second part of the application. After mo ma-fill out yung mga basic information or basic details sa first page, we will proceed with the second part. This involves uploading of your certain document. Ito yung mga document na kailangan nating i-upload. First is yung photocopy of valid passport or travel document. Next, proof of overseas employment such as valid verified employment contract, OEC, work permit, visa. Then, ang pangatlo is yung airline ticket. Number four, proof of loss of employment on account of COVID-19. And then, for undocumented OFW, proof that the OFW is currently involved in an ongoing case. I will always have scanned copy ng mga documents ko na meron ako. Meron din ako sa phone. May limit yung uploading niya, so kailangan mong maliit lang yung file size. First is passport. Next is the contract of employment. So this is what I sent for the letter of employment. This is to certify that Pantajayan of Philippines with passport number blah 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 has a confirmed position as the third officer on board blank of Malta Registry. The seaman is to report to the port of Athens, Greece on sign and date April 23, 2020. Estimated sign off blah 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 blah. So yun, ito yung in-scan ko and in-upload ko. Proof that my employment is affected by COVID. Ang in-upload ko dun is yung email because I received an email from my current company. So babasahin ko yung email na na-receive ko. Ito lang yung pinadala ko. Bale, in-screenshot ko siya and then I converted it into PDF. Tapos siya yung in-upload ko. Dear blah blah blah, we have caused global feelings beginning midnight of March 15 as a response to the global public health crisis caused by coronavirus disease 2019, COVID-19 pandemic. As a result, we regret to inform you that your assignment is cancelled. Ito yung ginamit ko na proof that my lineup got affected by the COVID-19. And then yung pangatlo is yung flight ticket. So this is the part that I had problems. Kasi I don't have flight ticket yet kasi nga pasampa pa lang ako. So ang ginawa ko, kapag hindi ka nag-upload, hindi mo siya ma-complete or hindi mo siya masasubmit. So ang ginawa ko sa Word document, ang nilagay ko was no plane ticket yet, lineup got cancelled, was supposed to join third week of April, parang ganyan. Tapos in a screenshot ko ulit, then converted it to PDF, tapos yun yung in-upload ko. At my end, I have the documents that I needed, kaya nakapag-upload agad ako. So others might not have all the required documents with them. I would suggest that you can coordinate with your, with your crew wing. Kunwari, kailangan mo ng scanned copy ng passport mo. For sure, they will have copies of all those documents na meron ka. But this is a good practice din siguro na meron tayo dapat laging uh, scanned copy ng, or soft copy ng mga documents natin. If you have all the necessary documents with you, all you have to do is to scan it. So if you have a scanner at home, madali lang yan. But if you don't have, don't worry kasi we have this application call, called... I've been using this for quite a while, Cam Scanner. You click the Cam Scanner. You just have to click the camera button. Yan. Tapos, yung document mo is kailangan nakalatag sa flat surface. So, pipicturean mo lang siya. Okay. So, pagka-picture mo, ayan, meron siyang option na ititrim mo siya or ikakrop mo based on your liking. And then, you go next. Yan. Tapos, parang i- ita-transform na niya siya into something na para talaga siyang scanned document. Tapos may options dito, magic color, black and white, blah, blah, blah. So, magic color for me is okay. Yan, makikita mo, malinaw naman siya. And then, you just have to save it on your file. Yun. Tapos, tsaka mo siya ngayon i-upload. After you uploaded all the necessary documents, you will receive a confirmation like this that they received your application and subject for review na siya. Okay, as a recap, so... Log in to the Dollars website, which I'm gonna put the link down below. You will have to fill out the basic information on the first page, and then on the second page, yan we will have to upload our documents. And after mo mas successful ma upload ang mga documents na you will receive a notification. Ganon lang kasimple. And a reminder, you can use Cam Scanner or different scanning app that 
will serve as your scanner para ma-upload or ma-scan mo yung documents mo and then ma-upload mo. So, after successfully submit my application, kinabukasan, nakareceive din ako ng system-generated reply from OWA. So, I'm gonna show you. No reply at owa.gov.ph. So, COVID assistance code. Dear Value OFW, thank you for using OWA application services for displaced land based and sea based Filipino workers affected by coronavirus disease in 2019. We received the application form under reference number blah blah blah. Your OWA evaluator will contact you to discuss your application. For any concerns or questions, you may contact OWA and for seven hotline at blah 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 blah. So, yeah. so, this is the confirmation that they received my application and for review na siya. We just have to wait for the OWA evaluators to contact. So, make sure na yung pre-provide yung number is laging ready and mag-expect lang kayo ng call from them once you receive that particular email. I'm gonna update you pag tumawag sila or whatsoever. I hope this short vlog will help you sa mga hindi pa nakapag-submit ng application for this 10,000. Malaking tulong din tong 10,000 sa atin, sa family natin. Pwede dito pang dagdag pa malengke. I hope everyone is coping up with our current situation and let's just pray na matapos na itong virus na ito and makabalik na sa normal yung mga buhay-buhay natin because it's really I don't know, it's actually a very tough year for me change management tapos pagdating na pagdating ko that was the time na pumutok yung Taal Volcano and if you're not aware, I am a Batanggenya taga Batangas po ako mismo so we have, we needed to evacuate from our house so after naman ng Taal Volcano ito naman, COVID-19 na hindi na dapat pasampan na, hindi pa natuloy anyway, I'm still thankful na I already have my company kasi dun sa last video ko uh, wala pa akong company nun but this is actually supposed to be a surprise, but oh, yeah, hindi na siya surprise. Anyway, if you like this video, do not forget to show some love and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also share this para makatulong din sa iba. I will also put the link of Awning TV down below because he explained it really well. You may also check that out. If you have some questions or clarifications, you can comment down below. I hope na katulong to sa inyo. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and do not forget to show some love and subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video. So that would be all. Uh, thank you and keep safe. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye!